Hi, this is Kian. I'm here at Dutch Design Week and here I am with the finished, for now, 3D printed bridge, uh, MX3D bridge. So you can see already it's got a... Well, let me step down so you can see a little bit down here. So you can see underneath, uh, it's got the decking in place. Um, we'll take a look at that a bit later and go and have a look at some of the guts of it and the wiring. But basically here we have the... the changes so these pieces the, the twirls if you like have been welded on for the moment they've just been spot welded in a couple of places those will be welded more completely later on and then let's go up on the bridge itself so right now the bridge is measuring the weight of the of every of the load on the bridge so within to, to within about an accuracy of one kilo within one kilogram or so it can tell how many how much weight is on it how many people are on there we have cameras at either end so let's take a look up there so if you look just up there there's a, just up there there, uh, there that's it that's the video camera on that end and that's basically taking um, well, video footage of people crossing and then we're crunching the numbers on it and extracting the skeleton data for, to, to be able to show in 3D where people are on the bridge. We have another another camera at the other end, which is somewhere there maybe, that's it. Um, and that's obviously between the two cameras, we've got pretty good coverage. Obviously, the, there was quite a lot of effort because of the curved decking and everything related to the bridge. The shape of the bridge it was quite complicated to get a calibrated 3d location of the, of the people on the bridge that was quite a bit of work to make that happen but anyway let's come off this side of the bridge and we will just go underneath and take a look at some of the stuff that's going on under there all right step down step down step down so we come underneath here and this is where we can start to see some of the wiring and the the the, the smarts that have been added into the bridge. So I won't go into what all this does because I'm not a hardware guy. But you can see there's various kind of boxes and cables and, uh, and sensors have been. So there, for example, up there, we can see we have some sort of sensor built, you know, inside the structure. I know we have strain gauges, we have accelerometers, we have temperature gauges, um, and all of this is streaming right now at about 10 hertz, so 10, 10 readings per second. Uh, you can go much higher, but for now, you know, baby steps and everything. Um, but yeah, so all very exciting. Let's go and take a quick look inside, uh, inside the shipping container. So this is where all the computers are, and I'm hanging out right now doing some coding changes. And here we can see. So there we go. Down there we have Dasha. We also have it up on, up on a big screen when it's working. I'm down. Here we have Alex and Mike hanging out, doing some changes. Um, right, and that's about it. Um, yeah, visit. You know, there should be more information posted on the blog. I hope you found this interesting. Thanks a lot. Bye.